हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक फाइव ईयर प्लान्स इन इंडिया बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन लिटिल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज इन एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ सीड इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रजेंटेशन फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट फाइव ईयर प्लान्स फ्रॉम 1947 टू 2017, द इंडियन इकोनॉमी वॉज प्रमाइस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्लानिंग दिस वॉज कैरीड थ्रू द फाइव ईयर प्लान्स डेवलप्ड एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड मॉनिटर्ड बाय द प्लानिंग कमीशन फ्रॉम 1951 टू 2014, एंड बाय द नीति आयोग फ्रॉम 2015 टू 2017. विथ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज द चेयरमैन The Commission has a nominated deputy chairman who holds the rank of a cabinet minister. Montek Singh Ahluwalia is the last deputy chairman of the Commission who worked till 26th May 2014. The 12th plan completed its term in March 2017. Prior to 4th plan, the allocation of state resources was based on schematic patterns. rather than a transparent and objective mechanism which led to the adoption of the gadgil formula in 1969 revised version of the formula has been used since then to determine the allocation of central assistance for state plans the new government led by narendra modi elected in 2014 and announced the dissolution of the planning commission and its replacement by a think tank called the niti ayog which is referred national institution for transforming india now little brief about planning commission the planning commission was set up in march 1950 by a resolution of the government of india which defined the scope of its work in the terms like first that the citizens men and women equally have the right to an adequate means of livelihood second that the ownership and control of the material resources of the community are so distributed is best to serve the common good and third that the operation of the economic system does not result in the concentration of wealth and means of production to the common detriment means there should be no any harm what is the role of planning commission it can be described as first make an assessment of the material capital and human resource of the country in relation to the nation's requirement second role formulate a plan for the most effective and balanced utilization of the country's resources third on prioritization define the stages in which the plan should be carried out and propose the allocation of resources for the due completion of each stage and fourth successful execution of the plan for the establishment of economic development and determine the conditions in view of the current social and political situations fifth to determine the nature of the machinery which will be necessary for securing the successful implementation of each stage of the plan in all its aspects and sixth a phrase from time to time the progress achieved in the execution of each stage of the plan and recommend the adjustment of policy and measures that such appraisal may so to be necessary and seventh role make such interim or ancillary recommendations as appear to it to be appropriate either for facilitating the discharge of the duties assigned so these are the few roles of planning commission now we will go through the history behind five year plans five year plans are centralized and integrated national economic programs joseph stalin implemented the first five year plan in the soviet union in 1928 most communist states and several capitalist countries subsequently have adopted them india launched its first five year plan in 1951 immediately after independence 
अंडर द सोशलिस्ट इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इंडियाज फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज इट हैड ए ग्रेट रोल इन द लॉन्चिंग ऑफ इंडियन डेवलपमेंट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस दस इट स्ट्रांगली सपोर्टेड एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन एंड ऑल्सो लॉन्च द इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी बट लेस देन द सेकेंड प्लान विच फोकस्ड ऑन हैवी इंडस्ट्रीज इट बिल्ट ए पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम ऑफ मिक्सड इकोनॉमी विथ ए ग्रेट रोल फॉर द पब्लिक सेक्टर एज वेल एज ए ग्रोइंग प्राइवेट सेक्टर विच वॉज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई सम पर्सनैलिटीज एज दोज हु पब्लिश द बॉम्बे प्लान वाट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ फाइव ईयर प्लान्स ऑफ इंडिया लॉन्ग टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव्स कैन बी डिफाइंड एज फर्स्ट हाई इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ रेट टू इम्प्रूव लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड्स सेकेंड इकोनॉमिक स्टेबिलिटी एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी थर्ड इकोनॉमिक इक्विटी एंड सोशल जस्टिस फोर्थ फुल इम्प्लॉयमेंट फिफ्थ इकोनॉमिक सेल्फ रिलायंस एंड सिक्सथ मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी सो दीज आर द लॉन्ग टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव विच टू बी फुलफिल्ड बाई द फाइव ईयर प्लान ऑफ इंडिया हेयर वी हैव प्रजेंटेड द लिस्ट ऑफ फाइव ईयर प्लान विच वर इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन टू टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी टिल नाउ ट्वेल्व फाइव ईयर प्लान हैव बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड इन बिटवीन इन इंट्रीम टर्म्स देयर वर सम एनुअल प्लान एंड प्लान हॉलीडेज अबाउट ईच प्लान वी विल डिस्कस इन ब्रॉड फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज फॉर द पीरियड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड इन दिस प्लान द मेजर फोकस वॉज गिवन टू एग्रीकल्चर वेयर द ग्रेट इम्फेसिस वॉज ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सीड प्रोग्राम्स एंड ग्रो मोर फूड इंक्वायरी कमिटी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू टू मेक सेल्फ डिपेंडेंसी इन फूड प्रोडक्शन ऑन दिसंबर एट्थ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन जवाहरलाल नेहरू प्रेजेंटेड द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान टू द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ इंडिया विच वॉज फोकस्ड ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द प्राइमरी सेक्टर एग्रीकल्चर दिस वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द हेरोड डोमर मॉडल विथ फ्यू मॉडिफिकेशंस एट दैट टाइम इंडिया वॉज फेसिंग थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट द इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ रिफ्यूजीज बिकॉज ऑफ पार्टीसन एंड सेकेंड ए सीवियर शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड एंड थर्ड mounting inflation india had to recover from the partition and the disequilibrium in the economy due to the second world war the first plan therefore had the focus of rehabilitating refugees agriculture development and self sufficiency in food along with controlling inflation the major objectives of first 5 year plan first agriculture development where the 27% budget allocation was done to irrigation and energy and 17.4% budget allocation was for agriculture and community development transport and communication development having 24% budget allocation industry development has 8.4% social services has 16.6% rehabilitation of landless farmers having 4.1% and other sectors and services 2.5% and the focus was given for rehabilitation of refugees self sufficiency in food production and controlling inflation here to study about achievements of first 5 year plan the target growth rate was 2.1% while the achieved growth was 3.6% and net domestic product went up by 15% national income over the 5 years was increased by some 18% the monsoon was good and there were relatively high crop yields by supply of fertilizer and seed boosting exchange reserves and the per capita income was increased by 8% great emphasis on development of seed programs to increase productivity Grow more food inquiry committee was set up in 1952 food grains production has gone up by 20% the output of cotton and major oil seeds has shown an improvement of 45% and 8% respectively 
नेशनल इनकम इंक्रीज मोर देन द पर कैपिटा इनकम ड्यू टू रैपिड पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ मेनी इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स वर इनिशिएटेड ड्यूरिंग दिस फाइव ईयर प्लान इंक्लूडिंग भाखड़ा प्रोजेक्ट हीराकुंड बांध मेटूर डैम एंड दामोदर वैली डैम्स द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डब्ल्यू एच ओ विथ द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एड्रेस्ड चिल्ड्रेंस हेल्थ एंड रिड्यूस्ड इन्फेंट मोर्टिलिटी इनडायरेक्टली कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एट द इंड ऑफ द प्लान क्रिएट इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स फाइव इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज आई आई टी वर स्टार्टेड एज मेजर टेक्निकल इंस्टीट्यूशंस द यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रेंट्स कमीशन यू जी सी वाज सेटअप टू टेक केयर ऑफ फंडिंग एंड टेक मेजर्स टू स्ट्रेंथन द हायर एजुकेशन इन द कंट्री कंट्रैक्ट्स वर साइंड टू स्टार्ट फाइव स्टील प्लांट्स विच केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन द मिडिल ऑफ द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान द प्लान वॉज क्वेस इज सक्सेसफुल फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सो द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज वेरी वेरी फ्रूटफुल द सेकेंड फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज फॉर द पीरियड नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स टू नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन इन दिस प्लान ऑल्सो एग्रीकल्चर वॉज गिवन प्रायोरिटी वेयर द ऑल इंडिया कोऑर्डिनेटेड मेज इम्प्रूवमेंट प्रोग्राम्स स्टार्टेड बाई इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च इन कोलाबोरेशन विथ रॉक फेलर फाउंडेशन स्पेशल इम्पोर्टेंस टू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर सीड इन टू फाउंडेशन सीड कोऑर्डिनेटेड क्रॉप इम्प्रूवमेंट स्कीम ऑन मेज सॉर्गम एंड बाजरा एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन टीम वॉज फॉर्म इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन एंड प्रोग्राम एवेलुएसन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज टन सो हेयर ऑल्सो टू अचीव द सेल्फ सफिशेंसी इन फूड ग्रेन प्रोडक्शन द एग्रीकल्चर वॉज फोकस्ड Now to study about objectives of second five year plan the plan followed the mahalanobis model an economic development model which was developed by the indian statisticians prashant chandra mahalanobis in 1953 the plan attempted to determine the optimal allocation of investment between productive sectors in order to maximize long run economic growth The total amount allocated under the second five-year plan in India was 48 billion. This amount was allocated among various sectors like agriculture, power and irrigation, social services, industries, communication and transport, and miscellaneous. The second plan was a period of rising prices, and the country also faced foreign exchange crisis. The second plans principal objectives were agriculture growth and development focus on the development of the public sector sizable increase in national income so as to raise the level of living in the country rapid industrialization with particular emphasis on the development of basic and heavy industries capital goods like iron steel chemicals etc large expansion of employment opportunities and reduction of inequalities in income and wealth and a more even distribution of economic power here to study about achievements of second five year plan the rapid growth in population was recorded which slow down the growth in the per capita income the target growth rate was 4.5% and actual growth was recorded 4.27% hydroelectric power projects were started and five steel plants started out of which bilai was established with the help of russia durgapur steel plants established with the help of britain and raurkela with the help of west germany coal production was increased and more railway lines were added in the north east The Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and Atomic Energy Commission of India were established as research institutes. In 1957, a talent search and a scholarship program was begun to find talented young students to train for work in nuclear power. All India coordinated improvement programs started on different crops to increase food production. and emphasis was given on seed production and evolution programs to avail high yielding varieties of seed to increase agriculture productivity 
third five year plan was implemented from 1961 to 1966 and like previous plans here also focus was given to agriculture to improve food grain production seed programs and supply of high yielding varieties there was release of first four major hybrids in 1961 there was origin of central seeds corporation in 1963 which is now known as national seeds corporation and high yielding varieties program was started in 1966 on maize bajra sorghum paddy and wheat crops the primary goal of the third plan was to establish india as a self reliant and self generating economy agriculture development is one of its objective to achieve balanced regional development and stressed agriculture and improvement in the production of wheat now the achievements of third five year plan unfortunately this period from 1961 to 1966 had many misfortunes which drained the funds there were indo china war in 1961 indo pak war in 1965 and also a severe drought which led famine in 1965 66 therefore this plan could not meet its objective in a desired way the war led to inflation and the priority was shifted to price stabilization the target growth rate was 5.6% but the actual growth rate achieved 2.4% there was a welcome upsurge in the economy and the increase in agriculture production have a broad as near to self sufficiency in food grains but inevitably there were other problems and a fresh challenge to face as rural disparities was increased the construction of dams continued many cement and fertilizer plants were also built punjab began producing an abundance of wheat state secondary education boards were formed states were made responsible for secondary and higher education and many primary schools were started in rural areas in an effort to bring democracy to the grassroots level panchayat elections were started and the states were given more development responsibilities a state electricity board was founded a state road transportation corporations were formed and local road buildings became a state responsibility there were three annual plans from 1966 to 1969 the fourth five year plan was designed in 1966 but it was abandoned because of various reasons like under the pressure of drought currency devaluation wars with china and pakistan in previous years inflationary recession on the economy and lack of resources therefore the government opted for annual plans from 1966 to 1969 this period is also called plan holiday period during 1966 to 67 there was again the problem of drought equal priority was given to agriculture its allied activities and industrial sector the government of india declared devaluation of rupee to increase the exports of the country fourth five year plan was implemented from 1969 to 1974 and in this plan also the agriculture was focused and there was establishment of tarai development corporation limited tdc in uttar pradesh in 1969 and there was origin of indian society of seed technology in 1971 at this time indira gandhi was the prime minister who implemented the plan there were two principal objectives first one growth with stability and second progressive achievement of self reliance this plan was aimed at 5.5% average growth rate of the national income and also the provision of the national minimum income for the weaker section of the society so it was called as garibi hatao or growth with justice 
greater industrial activity and the modernization of agriculture was proposed through the wider use of electric power and the adoption of intensive methods of cultivation in both irrigated and dry areas focus was given on implement generation there were some new schemes like for a network of service centers in the rural areas which will open out opportunities for young entrepreneurs now the achievements of fourth five year plan however another indo pak war was there in 1971 72 which created a financially crunch for the plan the indira gandhi government nationalized 14 major indian banks green revolution in india advanced agriculture there was establishment of the right development corporation and indian society of seed technology in addition the situation in east pakistan which is now known as bangladesh was becoming dire as the indo pakistan war of 1971 and bangladesh liberation war took funds year marked for industrial development india also performed the smiling buddha underground nuclear test which was pokhran one test in rajasthan on 18th may 1974 the target growth rate was 5.6% but the actual growth achieved 3.3% fifth five year plan was from 1974 to 1979 and under this plan there was establishment of national seeds program which was started in 1975 76 The five years plan has two main objectives first the removal of poverty and second attainment of self reliance in agriculture and defense and others were a stress on employment this was planned through the promotion of higher growth rates better income distribution and also a significant increase in domestic rate of saving This plan also focused on import substitution and export promotion. Further it included a national program on minimum need like housing, drinking water and primary education. Now the achievements of 5 year plan. The electricity supply act was amended in 1975 which enabled the central government to enter into power generation and transmission. The Indian National Highway System was introduced and many roads were widened to accommodate the increasing traffic. Tourism was expanded. The 20 point program was launched in 1975. This is a package of programs comprising schemes relating to poverty alleviation, employment generation, education and health. And this was followed from 1975 to 1979 national seed program was started the minimum needs program was introduced in the first year of fifth five year plan from 1974 to 78 and the objective of the program was to provide certain basic minimum needs and thereby improve the living standards of the people it is prepared and launched by dr dp dhar the target growth rate was 4.4% and the actual growth was 4.8% the rolling plans were implemented from 1978 to 1980 the previous five year plan was from 1974 to 1979 but it was discontinued in 1978 the janta party government rejected the fifth five year plan and introduced a new sixth five year plan from 1982 to 1985 in between there was rolling plan during 1978 to 1980 the rolling plan consisted of three kinds of plans the first plan was for the present year which comprised the annual budget and the second was a plan for a fixed number of years which may be for 3 years 4 years or 5 years the second plan kept changing as per the requirement of the indian economy and the third plan was a perspective plan 
for long terms like 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. Hence, there was no fixation of dates for the commencement and termination of the plan in the rolling plans. The main advantage of the rolling plan was that they were flexible and were able to overcome the rigidity of fixed five-year plans by mending targets, the objects of the exercise, projections and allocations as per the changing conditions in the country's economy. The main disadvantage of this plan was that if the targets were revised each year, it became difficult to achieve the targets laid down in the five-year period and it turned out to be a complex plan. Also, the frequent revisions resulted in the lack of stability in the economy. This plan was again rejected by the Indian National Congress government in 1980 and a new sixth plan was made. The sixth five-year plan was implemented from 1980 to 1985. The sixth five-year plan marked the beginning of economic liberalization. This plan focused on the socio-economic infrastructure in the rural areas. Further, it endeavored to eliminate rural poverty and reduce regional disparities through the Integrated Rural Development Program IRDP, which was implemented in 1979. Price controls were eliminated and the ration shops were closed. This led to an increase in food prices and an increase in the cost of living. This was the end of Nehruvian Socialism. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development NABARD was established for development of rural areas on 12th July 1982 by recommendations of the Sivraman Committee. Family planning was also expanded in order to prevent overpopulation. In contrast to China's strict and binding one-child policy, Indian policy didn't rely on the threat of force. More prosperous areas of India adopted family planning more rapidly than less prosperous areas which continue to have a high birth rate. Military five-year plans became coterminous means these were also added with planning commissions and these were functional along with onwards plannings. The sixth five-year plan was a great success to the Indian economy. The target growth rate was 5.2% and the actual growth rate was 5.7%. Seventh five-year plan was from 1985 to 1990. The seventh five-year plan was led by late Rajiv Gandhi as the Prime Minister and the objectives of the plans. The seventh plan focused on the rapid production of food grains along with an increase in the creation of employment. The guiding principles were growth, modernization, self-reliance and social justice. The plan laid stress on improving the productivity level of industries by upgrading of technologies. Establish growth in areas of increasing economic productivity and focus on achieving the prerequisites of self-sustaining growth by the year 2000. And the outcome of the plans, the target growth rate was 5% and the actual growth rate was 6%. Growth rate of per capita income was 3.7%. Under the 7th 5-year plan, India strove to bring about a self-sustained economy in the country with valuable contributions from voluntary agencies and the general populace. There were improvements in merchandise, export and imports. There were again annual plans from 1990 to 1992. 1989 to 91 was a period of economic instability in India due to the fast changing economic situation at the center and hence no five-year plan was implemented. Between 1990 and 1992, there were only annual plans. In 1991, India faced a crisis in foreign exchange reserves left with reserves of only about US dollar 1 billion. 
Thus, under pressure, the country took the risk of reforming the a socialist economy. P. V. Narasimha was the ninth Prime Minister of the Republic of India and led one of the most important administrations in India's modern history, overseeing a major economic transformation and several incidents affecting national security. The eighth plan was finally formulated for the period 1992 to 1997. Eighth five-year plan was implemented in 1992, and it was implemented till 1997. The eighth plan was scheduled to be introduced in April 1990. However, there were many changes in the government at center, which led to the reconstitution of the planning commission and the preparation of different versions of the approach to the eighth plan. Finally in 1992 the eighth plan was introduced at this time the country was going through a severe economic crisis and the government initiated fiscal reforms to provide a new dynamism to the economy Dr Manmohan Singh launched India's free market reforms that brought nearly bankrupt nation back at the age it was the beginning of liberalization privatization and globalization in india modernization of industries was a major highlight of the eighth plan and the major objectives were included like controlling population growth poverty reduction employment generation strengthening the infrastructure institutional building tourism management human resource development involvement of panchayati raj nagar palika development non government organization participations decentralization and people participation energy was given priority with 26.6% of the outlay the outcome results of the 8th five year plan india became a member of the world trade organization wto on 1st january 1995 the target growth rate was 5.6% and the actual growth rate was 6.8% to achieve the target of an average of 5.6% per annum investment of 23.2% of the gross domestic product was required the incremental capital ratio was 4.1 the saving for investment was to come from domestic sources and foreign sources with the rate of domestic saving at 21.6% of gross domestic production and of foreign saving at 1.6% of gross domestic production ninth five year plan was implemented in 1997 and it was continued till 2002 the main objectives of this plan was growth with social justice and equality importance to agriculture growth and rural development generation of productive employment and creation of regional balances and self reliance the ninth five year plan was launched in the fifth year of india's independence the other aspects which were constituted in ninth five year plan were population control reduction of poverty ensuring proper availability of food and water for the poor availability of primary health care facilities and other basic necessities primary education to all children in the country empowering the socially disadvantaged classes like scheduled caste scheduled tribes and other backward classes developing self reliance in terms of agriculture and acceleration in the growth rate of the economy with the help of stable prices now the achievements of ninth five year plan the ninth five year plan achieved a gdp growth rate of 5.4% against a target of 6.5% the agriculture industry grew at a rate of 2.1% against the target of 4.2% the industrial growth in the country was 4.5% which was higher than that of the target of 3% the service industry had a growth rate of 7.8% the 
द नाइन्थ फाइव ईयर प्लान लुक्स थ्रू द पास्ट वीकनेस इन ऑर्डर टू फ्रेम द न्यू मेजर्स फॉर द ओवरऑल सोशो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री एंड द टारगेट ग्रोथ वॉज सेवन पॉइंट वन परसेंट एंड द एक्चुअल ग्रोथ वॉज सिक्स पॉइंट एट परसेंट टेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन टू थाउजेंड टू एंड इट वॉज अंडर एक्शन टिल टू थाउजेंड सेवन द प्लान वॉज प्रिपेयर इन द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ हाई एक्सपेक्टेशंस एराइजिंग फ्रॉम द बेटर ग्रोथ रेट अचीव्ड आफ्टर द लिबरलाइजेशन एंड प्रोवाइडिंग गेनफुल एंड हाई क्वालिटी इम्प्लीमेंट एट लीस्ट टू द एडिशन टू द लेबर फोर्स द मेजर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्लान अटेन एट परसेंट जी डी पी ग्रोथ पर ईयर रिडक्शन इन पॉवर्टी रेट बाई फाइव परसेंट बाई टू थाउजेंड सेवन डबल द पर कैपिटा इनकम इन टेन ईयर्स फोकस ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट सेट मोनिटरेबल टारगेट्स पॉलिसी एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल रिफॉर्म्स इन ऑल सेक्टर्स डिक्लेयरिंग द एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर इज द प्राइमरी मूविंग फोर्स ऑफ द इकोनॉमी एंड इम्फेसिस ऑन द सोशल सेक्टर लाइक हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन कंसिड्रेशन ऑफ गवर्नेंस एज ए फैक्टर ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड रिडक्शन इन जेंडर गैप्स इन लिटरेसी एंड वेज रेट्स बाई एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट बाई द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सेवन नाउ टू स्टडी द आउटकम रिजल्ट ऑफ टेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान ट्वेंटी पॉइंट प्रोग्राम वॉज रीस्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विच वॉज अ पैकेज ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स कंप्राइजिंग स्कीम्स रिलेटिंग टू पॉवर्टी एलिविएशन इम्प्लोमेंट जनरेशन एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ इम्प्रूवमेंट्स दिस प्रोग्राम हैज बीन इन ऑपरेशन सिंस नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव द टारगेट ग्रोथ वॉज एट पॉइंट वन परसेंट वेयर ग्रोथ अचीव्ड सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट द टेंथ प्लान वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड टू फॉलो ए रीजनल अप्रोच रेदर देन सेक्टरल अप्रोच टू ब्रिंग डाउन रीजनल इनक्वेलिटीज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वन ऑफ द पॉजिटिव ऑफ द प्लान हैव बीन द गोल्डन क्वारेटर प्रोजेक्ट लिंकिंग द मेजर मेट्रोज ऑफ इंडिया विथ स्पैंकिंग न्यू हाईवेज क्लोज टू सेवन थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स ऑफ मॉडर्न एक्सप्रेस वर एडेड ड्यूरिंग दिस प्लान द नंबर ऑफ टेलीफोन सब्सक्राइबर्स have gone up from 10 million in 2002 to 200 million in 2007 the foreign exchange reserves have gone up from about dollar 50 billion to more than dollar 200 billion about 510 projects of ngo were provided financial assistance encouragement is being given to performing ngos by interesting need based projects in service deficient tribal areas post matric scholarship for pursuing post matriculation courses including professional technical and non professional non technical courses extended to 3.6 lakh scheduled tribe students during 2002 to 2001 11th five year plan was implemented in 2007 and it was in force till 2012 The theme was given to faster and more inclusive growth for poverty reduction, aim at putting the economy on a sustainable growth trajectory with a growth rate of approximately 10% by the end of its period. The major objectives of the plan, it aimed to increase the enrollment in higher education of 18 to 23 years of age group by 2011 to 12. This plan focused on distant education convergence of formal non formal distant and IT education institutions emphasis on social sector and delivery of service therein empowerment through education and skill development reduction of gender inequality environmental sustainability to increase the growth rate in agriculture industry and services by 4% 10% and 9% respectively provide clean drinking water for all by 2009 and increase agriculture growth by 4% now the outcomes of 11th five year plan 
India has recorded an average annual economic growth rate of 8% compared to targeted 9%. Besides, the farm sector grew at an average rate of 3.7% against the target of 4%. The annual average growth rate was 7.2% against target of 10 to 11%. The service sector grew at average rate of 9.7% against the target of 9 to 11%. 12th 5-year plan was last 5-year plan which was for the period 2012 to 2017. This plan was aims to achieve annual average economic growth rate of 8.2% and to achieve faster sustainable and more inclusive growth. According to this plan, it must be guided by a vision of India moving forward in a manner that would ensure a broad-based improvement in the living standards of all the people through a growth process which is faster than in past, more inclusive and also more environmentally sustainable. The objectives of the plan were to create 50 million new work opportunities in the non-farm sector, focus on the agriculture sector and have an average growth of 4% during the plan period. For the growth of GDP, ensure that the commercial energy supplies grow at a rate of 6.5 to 7% per year, to remove gender and social gap in school enrollment, to enhance access to higher education, to reduce malnutrition among children aged from 0 to 3 years, to provide electricity to all villages, to ensure that 50% of the rural population have access to proper drinking water, to increase green cover by 1 million hectare every year, to provide access to banking services to 90% of households, suggest new legislation for the acquisition of land and large investment in the development of the infrastructure sector. After dissolution of Planning Commission Niti Aayog was implemented, in 2014 Narendra Modi government decided to win down the Planning Commission and it was replaced by the newly formed Niti Aayog. Niti Aayog represents National Institution for Transforming India. It was formed on 1st January 2015, having headquarters at New Delhi, and it was established by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Niti Aayog is having the aim to foster involvement and participation in the economic policy making process by state governments of India, and the chairperson is Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi. And after dissolving 5-year plan, Niti Aayog launched 3 years action plan from April 1st, 2017. So this presentation was all about 5-year plans in India. Hope this will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.